I love my clothes. Whether it's the way they accentuate my curves, the comfort level, the pattern, or the sentiment behind it, there's a reason it makes me happy. I'm going to share how I decluttered my closet down to only my favorites so that I have something to wear for all occasions. As a disclaimer, I'm not a minimalist, but I've used the Marie Kondo method while tweaking it so that it works for me along the way. Please do the same for yourself. All right, so literally put everything in one big pile. This helped me really think about whether or not I actually wore every single clothing item I owned. There's a shock factor to seeing all of your clothes in a mound that screams extra, and be warned, this can provoke anxiety, but I also think confronting that is an important part of this exercise. Anything that doesn't make it in the pile before you start this process can be deemed as unloved, insignificant, and forgotten. Also, don't forget to do your laundry. Okay, so this is literally every single clothing item that I own in one big pile. The only exception are the clothes that are currently on my body. So I've emptied out my entire closet. Everything that was there is gone. I've emptied out the closet in the front, gotten all my shoes. This is it. Um, I have to say, even though I've gone through this process before, this still has a little bit of a shock to it. It's kind of overwhelming looking at this. Next, start with an easy category that you have little attachment to or know you have an excess of. For example, old t-shirts. All of those high school sports tees, 5K fundraiser shirts, and freebies from attending conferences you never wanted to go to is an easy place to start. Otherwise, if the pile is too much to go through by category, just start picking up a clothing item and ask yourself the well-known phrase, does this spark joy? If that doesn't resonate with you, try, if I put this on, would I feel like a confident baddie, a comfortable, carefree sloth of serenity, or any type of the best version of myself? If you're still unsure, try the clothes on and see how they make you feel. Although I like the way these shirts look, I don't like the way they fit on me, and I usually end up putting them back. This is probably enough for me to say goodbye, and now I've learned not to purchase clothes that don't satisfy that feeling. So I thought it'd be helpful to go through some clothes that are harder to let go of because of the emotional attachment to them. If you can't tell already, I like Spider-Man. And I bought this shirt a couple years ago and I haven't worn it since around the time that I bought it because I just can't fit it. And I've even tried to use it as sleeping clothes and even then it's not comfortable. So at this point, Unfortunately, it has done nothing but made me feel sad that I cannot fit it. So I think logically it is time to let it go. Here's another one. This is a hoodie from coaching my girls high school soccer team that went on to win the championship. And I'm clearly just keeping this because of the memories associated with it. But I went through the whole winter without wearing this and it's because it's scratchy on the inside. I think it is time to let this go. All right, so different kind of example here. These are scrubs. Do scrubs bring me joy the way other clothing items do? Not necessarily. Does it fulfill a function and a purpose that makes my life easier? Yes. So keep in mind when you're going through some of your stuff, there might be a practical purpose to some of the items that might bring you joy in that kind of way. I kind of feel like I should get a different color though. I think that's what bothers me. Some extra questions to help you objectively go through your clothing are, does it fit me? Is it comfortable? Do I feel good wearing it? Have I worn this in the last six months to a year? Is there something I already have that I will choose over this every time? Am I willing to tailor it, fix the hole, sew on the button, or restore it in any type of way? Would I buy this again? And is it fulfilling a purpose? If you answer no to any of these, you're probably not going to keep it for logical reasons. Either keep it with confidence or put it out of its misery of neglect. Bonus tip guys, this is a t-shirt that I bought at a microbrewery in Japan that did not fit me well, so I repurposed it into this picture frame and it brings me more joy than it ever would have if it were sitting in my closet not being worn. Once you've gone through all of your clothes and decided on all of your favorites, it's time to thankfully let go of the clothes that have exhausted their spotlight. 
quickly donate them to a local shelter before you develop confusing feelings, rummage through them, and ruin your closure. I have to admit, I'm pretty surprised they got rid of a garbage bag of clothes. I thought that this process was going to be strictly for video purposes, but I found it to be very therapeutic even though I've done it before. And in the process, I bought myself a fabric shaver to address some of the pilling on my clothes. So. Yeah, even if you've done it before, I think it's a nice way to check in with yourself and make sure that, you know, your clothes are still reflecting who you want to be. It's important to remember that your closet should evolve just as you do. Certain items of clothing may bring you joy for shorter durations of time than others, and it's okay to let them go sooner than you expected. Decluttering your closet doesn't mean you have to wear the same thing every day or live off of 30 items of clothing to be happy. You're just letting go of clothing that no longer served you the way it once did. Let it go, let it serve someone else, and let your closet resemble how you want to feel every day.